now a brand new series in which the Irish trio The Noolers bring their lively songs and chat to Radio 4 in a programme recorded at the Chapter Arts Centre in Cardiff. Ladies and gentlemen, if I were a cabbage, you could root me up and take me leaves. But my heart belongs to three sassy ladies. They've made a big splash in the world of entertainment, but don't worry, they'll mop it up later. Give me a G! G! Give me another G! G! Thanks, there's two G's I owe you. Now, settle down in a raucous fashion, clapping in your own time for T. Newlands! Thanks very much. Thanks. Busy Newlands. Busy show. No need for makeup. We're on the radio. On a Tuesday at 6.30, 92 to 94 FM, or again, 11.30 PM, on a Wednesday, whoa, 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 Wednesday, that's Wednesday. We're delighted to be here. We are indeed the Nulas, as our manager pointed out. That's Nula. Nula. And Nula. Hence the name. The Nulas. <laughs> we have a great show for you this evening. Uh, we're going to be singing some songs, having some chat, and hopefully later on we'll be able to manage that satellite link up with supergroup John Joe and the Jumpers in County Clare. I'd like to thank Jim, our stylist, for the new look. The twin sets are great but I'm not sure about the thongs. No. Really? <laughs> but I think they work. No. Anyway, I'd like to say a big hello to the woman I met in the loos before the show. God, it's nice to know that it's not just the performers who suffer from pre-show nerves. Yeah. <laughs> and just a big, huge thanks to our roadies, Chris and Phil. They are fantastic girls. Mm -hmm. It's amazing the way they can balance those speakers on their heads. Yeah. <laughs> For the whole show, it's yeah, fantastic. It's incredible. <laughs> Finally, could I just say a quick hello to Uncle Frank? Actually, could we all wave? He thinks we're on TV. Yeah. Hello! Hello. Hello. Hello! Anyway, on with the show. Uh, listen, <laughs> girls, before you start, can I just hassle you about the fanzine, right? Yes. It's going to press tonight, and, well, basically, one page is not enough. Mm. That's not a magazine, that's a bookmark. Mm. Right. So, uh, just a few quick questions. Right, uh, you first, Nula. Is that your own hair? Uh, no. Lovely. And uh, Nula, what about allergies? Uh, no, thanks. Okie dokie. And you, Nula, have you any distinguishing features? Uh, I'm very punctual. Great. Uh, so, who was your biggest influence? Oh, uh, that's easy. It has to be, um, you know, um, him, um, your man with, you know, ears, big chap, yeah. flapping R about. Right. Um, oh, it's fantastic. Fair enough. Okay. And uh, Nula, can you drive? Yes. Great. You can give me a lift to the airport later. I have to drop off a package. You know what I mean? And finally, a question to all of you. I am 13 years old. Really? And I have just met my best friend's best friend. He's gorgeous. I am afraid of her reaction to my reaction to the whole thing. Should I, A... B or C? Uh, C. Great stuff, girls. That should do it. C is like. Oh, hang on a second, Seamus. How did last week's competition go? Oh, yeah, that. Uh, not too well, you know. Uh, we only got one reply, and unfortunately, it was wrong. Nitroglycerine is only stable between minus 5 and 14 degrees. Not 14.5, as little Mary Jennings stated on her postcard. Oh. Some people have no idea. Anyway, later, girls. Oh, see ya. See ya. Oh, and everyone out there, remember, you are listening to the Newlers. Ireland's answer to who's them Irish girls on the radio. There's dark in the airwaves in stereo, so don't touch that dial. Thanks, Seamus. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, have you ever had a relationship... Have you? <laughs> yeah, I think about that a lot, you know. It just came into my mind here because um, I have to say, I love a man in uniform and I couldn't help noticing that there's actually a Mountie there in the third row. <laughs> and I see you brought the horse as well. Look at him there, Nola. <laughs> oh, hi, you're very welcome. <laughs> yeah. God, he's gorgeous. Yeah, God, can I just ask, uh, what's your name? Frank. Frank, oh God. Frank the Mountie. Yeah. What a fantastic God, say name. something else. I love the Canadian accent. <laughs> yeah, it's very Frank. Uh, just Frank, yeah. I have to say, I think there's nothing more attractive than a, a mounted policeman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, God. Listen, so what brought you here? Mm. What, what brought you to the show? 
Uh, uh, just uh, interest. I, uh, oh, really? <laughs> interest? In, in, in who? <laughs> um, or whom? All, all three of you. Oh, great. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I always think it's really important, uh, Frank, to lay down a few basic rules, you know, before you actually enter into a relationship. And I always have one thing that I say to the other person, and that is, look, whatever you do, would you please, please, please go out with me? Um, yeah. So... I don't know how that kind of grabs you. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking very uh, starry-eyed there, Nuala. <laughs> actually, can I just say um, that I love men in uniforms also. Um, actually, I just went out uh, with a soldier once. Uh, he was one of those guys with the big furry hats, you know them, who mind Buckingham Palace. Uh, oh, he was amazing. He was really high up. He had his own little box with a kettle in it. <laughs> But it was an absolute disaster. Why? What happened? Uh, well, after a few months, I realised he was having an affair with another woman and it was pretty serious. Uh, she'd moved into his hat. God. <laughs> no wonder he never took it off, Nola. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Gash, a shame, it? Nola. Yeah. Actually, but can I tell you about my man in uniform? Oh, God, when I think of him. When I remember the glint of his buttons, the shine of his pants, the crease in his hair, the faint whiff of Jemison's off his hot, rasping breath as he roared, Fairs, please! <laughs> Oh, God, those afternoons of passion we had in the 46B. <laughs> uh, Nuala had a bit of an affair with a bus conductor one time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if it's got rubber attached to it and it's moving around the city going beep, beep, she's on it. Yes. <laughs> I think what Nuala's trying to say there in that most crude exposition is that this first number of the evening is about an amorous occurrence on an element of the public transportation network and its most delicate development therein. Yeah. Beep, beep. <laughs> uh, just before we start, uh, there's a couple of references in this little number we'd like to do for you. Um, there's a, a place called Terenure, and there's another place called Dundrum. There are two places at home, and... Uh, oh, there's some Irish in. <laughs> How are you? Uh, they're a little bit like Ely and Splat. <laughs> no, well, you just made that up. No, I didn't. That's where they laughed. <laughs> God, that's gas. Get a geography lesson at the same time. <laughs> Absolutely. Take it away there, Nuala. Thanks very much. Man in the blue slacks, don't look so sad. Your shoes might be plastic, but life's not that bad. Man in the blue slacks, clipping my ticket. I want to hold you, I like your bum I want to hold you, till we reach Dundrum Ooh, I know beneath your navy terrily You have got the manhood of early Steve McQueen Ooh, I wonder, do you notice me? You just broke your glasses, I wonder can you see? Can you see? The look of lust on me, I mean the look of love on me Cause I am the girl at the front of the bus Haven't you noticed the spark between us? Don't keep me waiting, don't be a tease I know what you mean when you say first please Ooh, but I understand the pressures you are under so few conductors left, your sadness is no wonder Oh, you're living on the edge, your life is so unsure And I've heard the people say you live a terror in your Later on I sellotape your frames back into place So before you kiss me you can focus on my face On my face 
eyes. You can see my face now, babe. We are face to face. Thank you. Thank you. Almighty, that went down great, didn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. And your man there in the fourth row was crying. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, I feel desperate. A song that we only wrote to make a few bob at the weekend's busking has made this poor fella cry. Yeah, <laughs> I hate so to see upset. a grown man cry. Yeah. Come on, mister, please. Come on, come on. Get your things and get out, will you? Yeah. yeah. There's an awful lot of people here trying to enjoy themselves. Mm. Ah, no, leave him alone. Sorry. What's wrong? What, why are you crying? I'm a very emotional person. Really? really? You're not crying because uh, <laughs> because of some mention of public transport there and it's some um, sign of resonance for you or something? It moves me greatly, public transport. Oh, public transport moves him greatly. <laughs> oh, it's not good. of a jogger, isn't it? God, no, a comedian. Know, yeah, and I what's... think he's using this as a platform. <laughs> oh, God, we're all in it now. <laughs> well, we're all on the same train of thought there, aren't we? <laughs> oh, God. Come on. Oh. Uh, did you find that song moving? I'm choked, absolutely choked. But I think it's this man behind me who's got his hands around my neck. <laughs> <laughs> God almighty, there's mad things going on here in Wales. It's awful things, yeah. Well, there's a young fella here. Now, and I just want to find out, are we touching the really young members of the audience? What age are you? You must be eight or nine, are you? <laughs> yeah, nine. Oh, what God. do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> a bus driver. <laughs> Well. That's not great. Can I just ask one last couple up you here? Can. Go on, I, I see that you're getting very passionate there together. Now, is that because of that song that we just sang? It moved us together. And did it move you too, Mrs? Oh, absolutely. Oh, God, no, I'm the usher nice. moved her. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, God, oh, it's a fax. Great. Oh, fantastic. Dear Nulas, page one of a half. <laughs> I am being a fan of your pop group. But what is this rubbish of fanzine I am seeing? On one side, you are having a very poor recipe for cooked chicken. And on the other side, the join the dots Nula puzzle is insult to my brain. Where is number 23? I am boring. Love, your number one fan, Lars Vinslinger, Sweden. God, what I tell you, it's great to know we've one fan anyway. No, I like it. So that's two fans. Oh, thanks, Seamus. <laughs> anyway, girls, the fanzine, I've just typed it up, laid it out, and it's only three lines long. Oh. Well, um, what about competitions? You could have uh, Spot the Guitar. Yeah. And what about coupons, you know? Cut out a coupon, get one free? Oh, yeah, brilliant, yeah. I could make it a huge double-page spread of a coupon. That'll take up two pages, perfect. Yeah, yeah. and you could have um, Poetry Corner, Seamus. Um, roses are red, violets are blue, daffodils are yellow, plant them 18 inches apart in loamy soil, avoid frost. <laughs> Jeez, no, that was feckin' amazing. Oh, stop. Fantastic. Well, no, no, stop. Off the top of your head. Stop it. Right, that's great. OK, OK, now we've just got one page left. What about, uh, you know, give me some scandal or something, you know? Uh, Nula's got athletes, but no, it's not. It's a Veruca. Controversy. Great. <laughs> and now, something juicy. Oh, I know, I know. I had a dinner party the other night, and I'm not sure the strawberry flan was 100% defrosted. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, well, I should be able to jizz up them stories and fill out the fanzine. Day, day, girls. See Bye. ya. Bye, Seamus. Oh, and remember out there, yous are listening to the Nula's. Ireland's answer to what was the question again? So, don't touch that diet. I think we deserve a break. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now, a cup of tea. Oh, I'd mm. love a cup of tea, yeah. Oh, Pass us over those buns there. Oh, mm. gosh, fantastic. Oh, mm. give us a bit of that tart tatan, will you? Mm. Um, sorry, man at the back, can you pass it down the cream, please? Thanks. Mm. Oh, it's lovely to take a breather sometimes and just have a cup of tea. Mm. You know, it's fine to be laughing away what? there, but did you ever hear that saying, he who laughs loudest has the soggiest pillow? <laughs> yeah. And the mm. saddest people have up to ten pillows, mm. one in the dryer, one on the line, and ate in the hot press for the visitors that never come. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I can't help feeling there's a lot of sad people in here tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there definitely is. You know, there's a lot of people here who've been wounded. You know, I can get a sense of that. People here who've been stabbed <laughs> mm. by daggers. Emotional daggers. Yeah, there's a, a certain um, kind of psoriasis of the feelings amongst people in the audience tonight. Yeah, yeah. Mm. There is indeed that man there in the in the second row still in bits. Mm. Yeah, mm. and I have to say Frank's horse doesn't look too good either. No, <laughs> no he doesn't. Oh, Actually, we could just use a metaphor here to um, describe the kind of hurt we're talking about. Uh, say you're a heterosexual woman. 
you start your adolescent life like a fresh carton of milk out of the fridge. And you land yourself on the kitchen table of expectation and you've got one eye on the kitchen door of potential. And what comes through? Only a beautiful hot china cup of tea of a man. <laughs> and you look at that cup of tea and you say to yourself, God Almighty, he's gorgeous. So you open yourself and you pour some of the milk of yourself into the hot china cup of the tea of the man. <laughs> and you make the most beautiful cup of tea of a relationship together. Do you know something? It's so beautiful that all the posh biscuits want to hang out on your saucer. <laughs> Do you know all those biscuits that I've got? They've got chocolate on the outside and they've also got cream in the middle. What's this they're called? Viscount? Yeah, Viscount. Foil wrapped biscuits. They're all melting there on the saucer of your love. But what happens? The man turns out to be a bastard. <laughs> so you go back to yourself, but you're a carton of milk. You've been open for about 18 months. There's a big old blue Morty film on top of you. You've gone sour, you've gone stale, you've gone off. There's big sour lumps of cheese in there. You smell disgusting, you look disgusting, and I swear to Christ, a starving mouse would turn his nose up at you. But still, you carry on because that's life. And you're still looking at that kitchen door of potential and what comes through? Only a big old cold chipped mug of a cup of a tea of a man. And I'll tell you the kind of mug it is. It's the kind of mug you'd never give to a visitor. It's the kind of mug you might get free from a construction company. And maybe you've chipped it round the top when you were cleaning a paintbrush in it with a bit of turpentine and the handle's been knocked off it. And there it is, full of cold tea with an old cold tea bag slopping around on the top of it. You look at that man and go, God almighty, he's disgusting. Then you look down at yourself. And you go running towards him and you pour the big cheesy lumps yourself into that big old cold mug of a cup of a tea of a man. And I'll tell you something, you make the most fantastic relationship together. You've met the perfect partner for yourself. You've met the yin for your, the yang of yourself, the yolk for your egg, the half for your other half. And that's perfect. And you think this is it for the rest of my life. But what happens? That man turns out to be a bastard too. <laughs> You go back to yourself then, but you're just an empty, rancid, cream-coated carton. You think you're just ready for the rubbish tip, but you're not. I'll tell you what you can do then. You can set up an all-girl pop group, and that's why we're here tonight, isn't it, girls? Yeah! Then go on, go on, go for it. Yeah, set up your own band, yeah. Go on, get your own radio show. Just don't call it the Lulas. <laughs> yeah, please. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to act now as your musical poultice in this next number. And we would like to do a song from our Wounded Woman Tour, 1997. <laughs> Thank you.
dash of sand to my shore Please me your roots so very deep inside of me leave me leave me don't leave me <laughs> leave me leave me leave me leave me Okay, girls, uh, finish the fanzine. There it is. Now, uh, gotta go. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. What's this? Give it here. Nula's foot is rancid. Uh, yeah. Guitar Nula struggles to stand on stage every night as a rare tropical fanged veruca continues to munch its way through her foot. Yeah. Only three toes to go, says Dr. Rashid Kellogg. What's Let's that? have a look. What's that? this? Hang on. Seven dead after Nula dinner party poisoning shocker. <laughs> This woman is the devil, added Delia Smith. <laughs> What's this, Seamus? What look, hang on, girl. Here, let me have a look at that. Keep your hair on. What? Look at this. Nula uses old knickers to clean windows. <laughs> Seamus, how did you know? Yeah. <sighs> I went through your bins. What? what? You know, it's a trick of the trade. Everyone does it. They all, you know, what happens to all the celebs? You know, don't worry about it. People love reading this stuff, you know? You just have to blow it all up a bit and your fanzine is going to be a winner. Just trust me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fair, right, enough. fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Okay, but Seamus, we're not going to do any nudie shots, okay? Yeah, no nudie stuff. Yeah, no way to nude. No. <laughs> right then, no nude. I'll bear that in mind, should anyone anywhere ever ask us to go nude. <laughs> Anything for me newies? Now, look, not to be too blunt, can we get on with the show, girls? Okay, Seamus, thanks a million. Um, well, summer's here, and uh, unfortunately, summer for me conjures up images of lying on a couch in a beautician's getting the bejesus ripped out of the old <laughs> BL. Yeah, there's a few blank faces up here in the front. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, we, I'm That's sorry, we, ha we have to find out on this radio show, but uh, in their natural state, um, Irish women are actually extremely hairy. Yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, that whole kind of waxing hair thing, um, it's awful painful, isn't it, ladies? Oh, it really is. Mm -hmm. I tell you a tip, I normally take a horse tranquilizer before I go in. <laughs> does the trick. Knocks you out for a few weeks as well, you know, if you're feeling a bit depressed. I love a nice hairy man. And you'll find out that the older man is more hairy than the younger variety. And I love seeing an older man in his swimmies on the beach because generally they have such hairy chests. Isn't it like they've got an Axminster carpet stuck to their chest? And I have this little trick. What I do is I always carry some shaken back in my beach bag. And if I see a hairy fella I fancy, I'll just run up to him. I'll throw some shaken back onto his chest. And then I'll whisper in his ear, I've got a hoover back at the apartment. Do you want me to put the freshness back? And I'll tell you, there's near a man who won't have a go in my nozzle. I'll tell you that for nothing. <laughs> But uh, I was having great crack like that in the Costa del one year and uh, I met this woman who was crying her eyes out. And it turns out that she'd had a tragic holiday romance and I was deeply moved by her story. So I rang up the girls and we wrote a song about it. <laughs> and it's our last song of the evening. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're off to Tara Molinas. We've slept together 50 times since Saturday. I love you, do you love me? Cause I've got a return ticket from JWT. When I left Claire Morris, my hymen was intact 
After only one sangria, you were on me like a jack rabbit. Skinny dipping in the afternoon and cocktails by the pool. Jesus Christ, Manolo, do you take me for a fool? Hey, Manolo, are we a night? If I go home, will you still be writing? Do you remember the night, Manolo, when I learned to make paella? Do you not understand, my darling, that that makes you my bella? Don't treat me like I'm a Republican, and you are General Franco. Just meet me in my room. But you don't know me at all, boy. I'm the girl who will persist. I thought you were Manolo, my lover from the sun. But it turns out your name's Dermot, and you come from Ballymun. A small suburb in the north of Dublin, a bit like Roth. <laughs> you thought that you were clever, and now you think you're free. Let me tell you, Dermot, you've the same flight home as me. <laughs> Bitch. Hey, Dermot, are we at a night? Hey, Dermot, we have the same flight time. Group John Joe and the Jumpers. I know you've been hanging on the line for the satellite link up. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll get you next week. Anyway, thanks for listening and remember if you feel like singing, do sing a Nula song. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> Contained the Newlers and Seamus. The writing was done by Sue Collins, Karen Egan, Angle D, and Paul Toilak, with some more by Tom Jameson and Nev Fountain. The producing was done by Joe Clegg. The Newlers was recorded live at the Chapter Arts Centre in Cardiff.